fuel cell has been researched for over 170 years already. The idea of creating a fuel cell was suggested by Sir William Robert Grove in 1839. However, it couldn't be applied in practice for a long time as there were technical complications in using a two-component gaseous fuel in the middle of the 19th century. One of the first experiments in creating an easy-to-use fuel cell was conducted in 1889 by German physicists Karl Lange and Ludwig Mond. They introduced the term fuel cell. They built a cell which worked on air and industrial gas coals. Firstly, they used a non-conducting porous diaphragms soaked in a diluted sulfuric acid, that is, electrolyte. Then they placed a perforated platinum sheet covered with a platinum black film on each side of the diaphragm. A dry platinum black acts as a catalyst of fuel cell activity. A platinum sheet was placed in the contact with stripes of lead, thus Mond and Lange reduced internal losses in the cell. Cell diaphragms were placed closely, one over the other, with membranes made of cardboard, wood or Indian rubber. They ensured passage of gas through the membrane without holding back the electrolyte. In these cells, they received current density of 6 amperes per square foot of the electrode at the voltage of 0.73 volts per one cell. However, voltage on the cell was reducing by 10% over one hour of work, thus the electrolyte couldn't perform stably. The experiments proved that oxygen, hydrogen or air coal gas fuel are interchangeable in the fuel cell. The physicists also calculated a rated efficiency of the cell at 50%. When passing a sufficient amount of air through the storage battery, one could maintain battery temperature of about 40 degrees Celsius. At the same time, one had to remove all water vapors which were forming in the battery by discharging gases from it. The electrodes from platinum black stay relatively dry and have a long lifespan. Further efforts to develop fuel cells which could transform coal or carbon gas into electricity were undertaken in the beginning of the 1900s and were quite successful. However, with the appearance of internal combustion engines, this new technology was doomed to be forgotten. Nevertheless, fuel cell research was renewed in the new space era. Fuel cells, along with solar cell batteries, are one of the most important sources of energy in spacecrafts.